Alright everyone, well I've just reinstalled Kubuntu at 14.04 on my system and got a shiny new theme, nice setup here. But one thing I never really looked at before was KDE Connect. I showed it sort of working when I reviewed the system about 11 months ago. Yeah, it's taken me a little while. But the trouble is I've not been able to get the most out of it because it connects to Android phones but it really needs Android 4.3 or above. Didn't used to have that on my phone but now I have a, a Nexus 5 with Android 5. Got a chance now of it all working. So KDE Connect allows you to see alerts from your phone, so like when you receive a phone call or text message. You can synchronize files and you can also control the computer back from the phones, so like uh, controlling the multimedia applications and even moving the mouse around the screen. So it all sounds very good. It works over the Wi-Fi, so you don't need to worry about connecting via Bluetooth or anything. So. This is the app you need from the Play Store on your phone and it mentions the repository you need to add on your computer. So let's go and add that. So I'll need Terminal. So Console and KDE. Oh, and if you're wondering whether you can use it in another desktop like Ubuntu or Gnome, uh, apparently yes you can. Have I done it? No, <laughs> but feel free to try and let me know what happens. So do sudo add apt repository and that PPA. So all this will be in the description below. Yep. Then sudo apt get update. Then finally sudo apt get install KDE Connect. Now with the latest version of Kubuntu 15.04, KDE Connect comes pre-installed by default, but you may need to add a repository if there's been any more updates. That's it, that's it. Now to go and add the widget, so I'll right click on desktop and add widgets. So let's find KDE Connect, so yeah, double click on that, and can I move it across? Yep, there you go, so let's get rid of that. Now I've gone and played around with it earlier so it's already connected automatically. But what you would do next is you would open the app on your phone to so go to KDE Connect. And then it give you available devices and you would choose that. Yeah, no, no, it's not really showing clearly what's on the screen and anyway, anyway the image would be mirrored. But you'd select your computer off the list and then it will pair. Now if it's getting blocked you may need to open the firewall port. Now it lists it on this page, so it is TCP and UDP, port 1714 to 1764, which is quite a range, but uh, open those ports up and uh, maybe it'll work. So let's see what we can do. So let's start with sending a ping, that works. Open the remote control. So this is Clementine Media Player I'm using and works with that. So I can move forward a track and we've got Michael Jackson's Thriller, but not play too much of that. So let's turn the volume down. <laughs> that's all done through the app on the phone. So that works. So as far as the notifications go on the computer, what we have is got the battery information there, notifications, so that showed emails and text messages. And I've got the play media player as well there. If I phone my phone from the landline, There we go. Shows I have missed phone call. Right, after doing a reboot, the touchpad control now works. So that's the mouse moving <laughs> via the phone, which is quite clever. And the Nexus 5 now appears in the Dolphin File Manager list. So I can access the files. Uh, get into across the music and well there we go apparently I can copy files across there then which is all good so let's try and copy a folder across and we'll see how fast it's going uh, 3.8 mega second <laughs> don't know is that bad is that good I don't know it's not too bad is it it's considering writing to a flash card and we've also got the alerts there that the battery is low <laughs> Cool. So it looks a really good tool and uh, it's certainly enhanced with the higher version of Android. So 
that was a look at how to install KDE Connect in Kubeuntu 14.04. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.